Well, welcome back to New Day Cleveland. We're going to talk about movies a little bit. Aretha Franklin, a movie called Respect, and uh, Jennifer Hudson. You know who Jennifer Hudson is. Who's right? that? Yeah. Just kidding. She is yeah. phenomenal. I don't know, American Idol. I used to go out to California and every two her? weeks, you know, and she'd be like in the top 50, then she was in the top 20, then she was in the top five. And it was just unbelievable watching her do that. And then to come out and do Dream Girls and win an Oscar for that, it was just incredible. So do you think she could maybe win one? For this? This is my favorite movie of the year so far, folks. I've seen it twice. It's really good. Let's talk to Jennifer Hudson and take a look at Respect. I got a single by this new chick named Aretha Franklin. Dream Girls Oscar winner Jennifer Hudson takes on the role of a lifetime. She was born to play Aretha Franklin. How did she know? Aretha told her. That's respect. Ladies and gentlemen, Miss Aretha Franklin. Jennifer, I'm so excited to see you. Man, this movie was good. It kicks butt. Thank you so much. Happy to see you as well. How would you describe this, this, this whole experience? Chasing my dream. <laughs> That's how, I mean, it was something to play her. It was a dream of mine. So to be able to achieve that and to see it come into fruition after 15 years, we first met Aretha and I about me playing her 15 years ago. So to see it manifest is yet another dream realized. I need you to focus and avoid frivolous distractions. I think other people need to see stuff like this because it's dreamers out there like it. And to know icons and like that, like Aretha went through things to achieve her goals, you know, that it, it kind of yeah. lets you know if you're on the right track or not, you know? Yeah, you, you watch her growth, you know, you see your growth. I mean, look at you, you jump out of the box with an Oscar, <laughs> Dream Girls. Amazing. Really? Like, wow. Yeah. <laughs> That was just crazy good. And you know, and watching this movie, uh, you talk about being in the right place at the right time. You go in one on one with Ford Forrest Whitaker. What do you call that? Wow. A dream come true. Although this is, he's like my, my, my Hollywood dad. This is our third film together. Yeah. And we, guess what? A fun fact is we actually won our Oscars together as well. Yeah. So his birthday is today. Anyway, oh. that's bizarre, right? I know. I'm such a fan. This song goes out to anyone who's ever felt mistreated. When Aretha finds her song, finds her place, gets her, gets in, in her step, this movie turns into an action movie for me, man. It just <laughs> like it gave me chills. And I was like, I was like holding on like an action movie. <laughs> I love that. An action movie. Wow. Okay, I'll take that. <laughs> it's fantastic. And I want, I want to say goodbye to you right now and just ask you, how do you feel about being called one of the 100 most influential people in the world? That blows my mind. It feels good to hear, though. I hope I'm a good influence. <laughs> you are. And you're beautiful. Thank you. Great to see you again. You too. Bye-bye. Bye. She's a miracle. Pretty good. She's so grounded, yeah. you know. And to watch Aretha's story, there's a lot of pain involved, you know, like uh, you know her, her dad, her husband, that sort of thing. And here's what's really great about this movie. I think here, here's a movie that's two hours and twenty minutes long. That's a long movie, right? Yeah. People sit there watch a two hour and twenty minute movie, and then when the credits roll, Aretha comes out and sings over the credits. You see this grand performance of her at the Kennedy Center, and nobody leaves. Nobody leaves. I mean, they sat through two twenty, and they're going to sit through. Uh, they're going to sit through another like all the credits. Nobody sits through the credits. But no, she well. Aretha Franklin's not in another stratosphere, yeah. but this, Jennifer Hudson is incredible. She is so inspiring. She is, I think, such a role model for, for today's youth. And she's, I love how sweet she still is. She's yeah. so humble still. Yeah, it, it opens Friday. And I just got to tell you, there's, there is another problem with this thing. You go out, you get songs in your head, and you can't get them out of your head. That happened to you sometimes? Is that why you were singing R-E-S-P-E-C-T when you came in I'm here? I'm just looking for some. <laughs> I can't get it like she can. Okay.